Okay, so the first prop that I got today is going to be Bag of Bones. And hit both of the boxes of Bag of Bones that they had were pretty beat up. But they, they, they're they pretty, they're in good condition, it seems like. And if you see it's 3.2 feet tall, which I just not realize at first. But from all the videos I've seen of this guy online, he looks amazing, personally. He pops up super fast from what I've seen. And I do actually want to put a mask over him to see if that will make him, you know, slower. I don't want him to be slower, to be fair. Because I want him to be faster, but I want him to not be a skeleton as he's going into my farm section since the blatant marketing on the side. So this is a front viewing panel of the box. The side panel shows his head and how it pops up for a quick scare. Hopefully that sensor doesn't get off-timed. The folks who live near Spirit Anchors Farms don't say much about the noises coming from the old barn. Instead, they keep their heads down, kick the dirt, clench their teeth, and say things like they're quiet folk up the farm, or they look they look after their own. Maybe that's because they would rather not wind up like some of their neighbors in a burlap bag by the old Ben and Grismel. Oh, that actually makes this a much more sinister prop. Wow. <laughs> and then just moving on to the other side there. Pretty much the same thing as the other side. <clears throat> yeah, this guy is one of the cheaper props out of the lineup, but I think he's also one of the... He's more family friendly, but I want to make him less family friendly, so I'm definitely going to have to corpse this guy or something to make him look better, as he just looks a little bit too plain right now. But let's move into the, all the other things I got, as I did not get any other animatronics, as they only had one that I wanted there. But I did get a lot of tabletops, well, some dolls, and I also got some zombie babies. So, let's go to the shed and look at those. Okay, so the first zombie baby I got was Chomping Connie here. I think this is a super cool zombie baby, though it does look more alien-like to me. And I do think the face and body is a bit too clean compared to the, some of the other zombie babies that look more worn or, you know, beaten up, per se. But this one's going to go great with the swaddled up one that came out last year. And also the bonnet is a super cool touch. And the little piece of hair as well. Putting off that off to the side. We have what I would say is a pretty big classic in the zombie baby community. And that's Spider Biter Billy, I believe his name is. And lots of spiders hanging off his face there. Not sure if they're all in the right places, though. I don't know if they have specific places on them. This is the one I planned on getting last year, but they never did end up stocking him in my store. Or at least I never ended up having the chance to get him, unfortunately. And moving on to one that I did not expect to see there, Mischievous Mandy. And, you know, this one's super cool, especially because of the all-red eyes that are actually plastic. Like, just like the other zombie baby's eyes, but they are just all red instead of actually detailed. And I'm, I did not expect to see this one as it was not returning. But it's a super cool one, so I'm very happy to see it come back. And next up we have Snacking Steve, which I believe is an obvious one. And there was some rumors that this guy got call, recalled because of, air, like, you know, some problems with latex, but... I'm pretty sure those all turned out to be wrong, so hopefully at least. Super happy to have this guy in the collection as it is one of the more bloody ones. And now moving on to another one that I did not expect to see going right beside Mr. Viz Mandy. Ravenous Ruby, I believe her name is. And now some of her cockroaches was missing, so there's one missing here. And there's one missing on her lower finger right there. As I had to move one right into the mouth. As the one in the mouth was missing. I could have probably got some money off for that. But nonetheless. I'm very happy to get this one. As it is a super cool one. And one that I was actually going to buy online. But it sold out before I was able to buy it. And this is a just a zombie baby full haul. That is for sure. Moving that one off to the side. We do have the final one. And I don't think there's no doubt who I got here. This is Wretched Ralphie, and this one reminds me of the old zombie babies, and that just makes me so happy, as it's something that I've really needed. And, like, you look at these zombie babies, you look at this one, this one, this one, this one, they all look bland-ish 
to an extent. This one's blandish, but it looks creepy. It reminds you of the old zombie babies with all the veining throughout it. And it just looks super creepy. And I think that's what we need in our zombie babies. And I'm hoping this is going to be a standard going forward with our zombie babies. That they look creepy and just super cool like this. And just one time, one more time, look at this giant haul I got. And obviously including Bagel Bones as well, which is inside right now. These are all outside as they're going to be going into my shed for storage. Super happy to get all of these. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which should be another store tour, hopefully. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.